Hey guys, what's up? Pizza Wolfing Nerd here. Today we're going to be starting a new series called Pine Phone OS's, where we look at Pine Phone OS's in depth. Pretty self explanatory series. Anyways, today we're going to be looking at Ubuntu Touch for the Pine Phone. Note that the Pine Phone software is evolving very fast and quickly, so many things said in this video will not age well. Anyways, I suck at intros, let's get into the video. <laughs> In late 2011, Mark Shuttleworth from Canonical announced that by the release of Ubuntu 14.04, Ubuntu will support tablets, phones, and other smart screens. Later, in January of 2013, Canonical announced Ubuntu Touch and showed a demo of Ubuntu Touch running on phones in CES 2013. A month later, in February 2013, we got a developer preview of Ubuntu Touch for the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the Nexus 4, the Nexus 7, and the Nexus 10 because Canonical is obsessed with the Nexus line of phones. Too bad it's dead. Over the next few years, Ubuntu Touch gained support for more and more devices until it got discontinued by Canonical in April 2017. Haha, ha. classic Canonical. Luckily, the UbiPorts community picked up the project and kept the development of Ubuntu Touch rolling. Installing UbiPorts is very easy. Just download Bowena Etcher, download the UbiPorts image, and plug in the microSD card using either a microSD to USB adapter or using a microSD to standard SD adapter. Once we do that, we're going to want to flash it using Bowena Etcher, and yeah. After that, we need to go through this welcome setup screen in order to set up UbiPorts. Just select your language, connect to Wi Fi, select your time zone, choose a device name and passcode, and that's it. So, the simple install is out of the way. The UI for Ubuntu Touch is using a desktop environment called Lomary, which was previously known as Unity 8, but changed its name due to people getting it confused with this. The UI is very unique and different from other OS's. When you first log into the phone, there is no app drawer. Instead, you have to swipe in from the left in order to show your favorite apps, and if the app you want to use isn't in your favorites, then you have to hit the icon on the bottom left and it will show the rest of your apps. In order to go to the multitasking view, swipe in from the right and it will show all of your recent apps in a style similar to how iOS and Android does it. If you swipe down from the top left, then it will bring you to your notifications. However, if you swap down from an indicator on the right, it will bring you to the page for that indicator. For example, if I swipe down from the battery indicator, it will bring me to the battery page of the quick settings panel. You can also select your quick settings by swiping left or right while bringing down the panel. Most of the apps have a pretty consistent UI, probably a little bit more consistent than Android's ecosystem's stock apps, but not as consistent as Apple's stock apps in terms of design. Overall, it is a good UI once you get used to it, but if you're coming from iOS or Android, it might take a while to get used to given how different it is. Now, let's talk about apps. The pre-installed apps are almost perfect. There's nothing pre-installed that feels like bloatware except for that dedicated UbiPorts app, which is just UbiPorts propaganda. This app should just be the homepage for Morph Browser, not a dedicated app. Now, Ubuntu Touch apps take advantage of a lot of web technologies. Most apps are written in QML, which is similar to HTML and also reminds me a little bit of JSON. But not many people are actually writing apps for Ubuntu Touch, unfortunately. OpenStore, which is Ubuntu Touch's app store, is filled to the brim with just web apps. For example, search YouTube. Boom! Four different web apps for YouTube, plus more if you include YouTube Music and other YouTube web frontends. In my opinion, there should be a separate app store for web apps, or at least a way to disable web apps in the OpenStore, because I can make web apps myself. I'd go as far to say that for every good native app for Ubuntu Touch, there are three web apps that are kind of mediocre at best. So if you plan to try out Ubuntu Touch, get ready to be using a ton of web apps. Given that there's so many web apps in the open store, web browsing should be good, right? Sort of. Morph Browser, which is the default browser, is very fast and responsive, and I actually think that browsing with Morph Browser is actually a lot faster than my Nokia 6.1 Android phone, despite the Pine phone having way inferior specs compared to my budget Android phone. But Morph Browser's UI is pretty meh. For example, the tab switcher has this weird thing on the bottom of the app, uh, like a weird like tab thing hanging out. 
and it can block some text on the bottom of the screen, like the trending tab, for example, on YouTube. It blocks the text for that. Come on, UbiPorts, just put the tab switcher on the top right of the browser like Chrome for Android does. And if you rotate your phone horizontally to browse, then the tabs on the top are microscopic. So, Morph Browser is a great browser with a terrible UI. Or at least a mediocre UI, at best. If you are interested more about PinePhone web browsers though, I have a video, uh, it's going to be on the top right info card, fully covering just web browsers for the PinePhone, so yeah, it's going to be up there. UbiPorts has a very active community that you could turn to if you need help with something Ubuntu Touch related, or if you just want to talk in general. They have a very active forum where you can talk about UbiPorts, ask questions, get support, and help with development. UbiPorts also has a very active Telegram group where you can get help with your UbiPorts device and maybe help other people out too, or again, just chat. And the Pine64 forum also has a section dedicated to UbiPorts, so if you have a PinePhone specific issue for UbiPorts, you can ask it there. One very cool feature you can enable right now in UbiPorts for the PinePhone is Trust Deep Sleep. This will give you a massive improvement for standby time on UbiPorts. It is still experimental right now, but I highly recommend enabling it. I will put a link below on how to do that. Overall, I think Ubuntu Touch right now is probably the most complete OS for the PinePhone in terms of features. But, like all the other PinePhone OSs, it still needs some work done to make it fully usable for even your mum. Thank you to patrons Michelle Vantino, Jim Peter, and Sam Covet for helping me support the channel. Please become a patron so that I can buy more Linux devices for this channel. And also check me out on LBRY, uh, I'm almost at a thousand followers on there, so please follow. And yeah, thanks for watching this video, I'll see you in the next one.